let's look at decoration and um, it might be a little too late because uh, of course today is Christmas but you never know there's some people who like to celebrate New Year so Mapito again she went to find out about how to decorate your house living room and garden for this festive season if you have if well if it's too late you could still need it for next year maybe for an, uh, another occasion in your house watch this it's the festive season and I'm sure most of you guys will be throwing some parties and having get-togethers with your family members. So we want to know what kind of deco is best suited for this time of the year. Let's find out inside. <laughs> I see you're doing DIY. What, what's happening here? Uh, we're using paper uh -huh. to do Christmas cards, um, Christmas hangings, yeah. and then little, little funny things that the children do at home, yeah. just to hang it around for fun. Mm. And especially because we're trying to save money. Yeah. You know, we don't want to spend a lot of money on deco. Okay. So what, what, what are the kind of instruments are you using? We have the glitters. Okay. These are glitter, not very expensive. Mm -hmm. And then we have the uh, poster colors. Okay. These are poster colors, mm -hmm. just five CDs, two CDs, 50 pesos. Mm -hmm. And then we have the ink, ordinary ink. This one too, you can use it. Yeah. And then we have cards. Okay. Just one CD. Yeah. You can also use those ones, A4 sheets. And then we have spray. Mm. sprays and then these uh, brushes okay we have blue mm. all these you can use a lot of things that you can yeah. use so looking at this how much would we spend maximum how much would we spend for a card mm -hmm. the glitters we have these ones mm. uh, glitters it's one city just a pack of it it's okay. one city yeah and then this is two cities 50 pesos um, in all, 10 CDs you can do something. 10 CDs you 10 can CDs do something, CDs. okay. And then I see there's, okay, so this is how the card looks. Yes. At the end of the day, mm. this is how the card looks. So it's Merry Christmas and you write something for yes. yourself. And I think this is beautiful because you can do this with your kids at home. Exactly. To spend more quality yeah. time because during the year, you're not spending time with the kids. Yeah. So this can be Merry Christmas, write your message, give it to grandpa or grandma yeah, from the family. Exactly. All right, okay. And this is their hand. Okay. I intentionally allow them to use their hands so that when they send it to somebody, you can see their hands and appreciate And appreciate. Yes. All right. And then if you want to be romantic, <laughs> I see, I see. You know, this is yes. some romance stuff. The, uh, we've not completed it. Uh -huh. We can add red and the colors and then we can spray. Okay. Yes. Okay. And then those, if you want to be romantic, at least you can use the red. The red one. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so this is for the kids. Yes. You would say this is yeah. for the kids. Okay. And then now, and then this is like the makeshift Christmas tree. Exactly. Okay. And you can have it in the living room or you can have it in their bedroom. Well, yes. Where the children, the kids want to put it. Okay. You, you have to allow them just to create fun in the house. Mm. This is for the kids. Yeah. For spending time quality time so now what happens when you're hosting a dinner or a yeah. lunch okay yeah. yeah then we can come here okay because it's christmas mm -hmm. we have to use the christmas colors we have the red we have the gold and then we have the green and it all signifies who christ who christ is okay so what i believe is that you have to use them for dinner you mm. can use the sash to tie around the chairs that you have to sit on. And then when it comes to the napkins, you can also use red, gold, or you can use the green mm. to let, let the colors, for the colors to come out mm. so that when people come, they will know that it's Christmas season that we are in. Yeah. And then the flower too, you can just put in the red and the greens mm. for it. Mm. Always allow the children to do it mm, mm, mm. because they bring in new ideas for we the uh, elderly, mm. yeah. So you just put the red under it where you can put the gifts under. Okay. Yeah. And then you can, for kids, you can also use balloons. 
put balloons around it, hang mm. them around, mm. you just let them do it. So there, there should be a touch of red and a touch of green and a touch of the gold. The blue, gold. gold, okay. Yeah. And these are some of the materials you used? Yes. Okay. We have the, we have the, uh, uh, this is um, taffeta and it's, it's not expensive. Mm. Yes, I decided to uh, use things that are not very expensive. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the, it's I think not even up to 100 cities okay. and you can use it to just do drip, dripping. You drip around the table mm -hmm. and it's very nice. It comes out beautiful. Yeah. And then we have the ribbons that we use for the bows oh, okay. and the ties. Yes, and then we have the creole. So what do you use this for? For bows. You just... Have the ornaments. All right. These are Christmas hangings. All right. We always, we always allow the kids to do it, just like they've done here. Yeah. Yes. So you let it go around it, from the, from the top. Mm -hmm. You let it fall. It goes round it. Okay. Like that. Just like that. So we just continue with. Another one. Another it one. Down like that. Okay. And then kids also love lights. Mm -hmm. Lights can go on the Christmas tree, though we've not gone outside yet, mm. but you can put it around your trees yeah. in the house. Mm. And then if there are summer hats like this, you just put them around, around it. It's it. so beautiful. Okay. Yeah. We've seen what we can do indoors. Now let's see what can happen when you're outdoors. You can just set a simple table like this mm -hmm. around the, your home so that when people come, they can just sit around, have fun. Yeah. And if you have trees, as I say, you can hang the lights on. The, that's the Christmas lights. Now, it comes in many forms. Mm. You can just hang the net one around it or it just goes around, just like we saw on, on the uh, artificial one. Uh -huh. And then we have these ones too. The... This is the lantern, paper oh, lantern. Yeah. It's not very expensive. You can just get them, the colors, and then you hang them around. You, this is fishing line. Okay. Also very cheap. Mm. So you get it on the market, on the local market. Yeah. You just tie it. I think because of the culture here, we'd have to choose a different color. Like you said, you know, most Ghanaians, yeah. red, funeral. Red. So I think we'd have to choose a different color. I don't know. No, but because that, of that, culture. You, you, I always want people to understand. Yeah. I explain it to them. Yeah. That it's not for death. It, 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 the significance of the red. Yeah. When you go into the Bible, it, Christmas is. Uh, uh, we are remembering Christ, the yeah. birth of Christ. Mm. So we always have to let the meaning of it come out. Yeah. Not just that, oh, I don't like it. But uh, the red, as I said earlier, it signifies the, uh, that God himself became flesh mm. and dwelt amongst us. Yeah. And then how he came, he be, uh, like his blood saved us. Mm. So if we have to remember Christ, then we have to remember what he did. You see, every color mm. that we use for a, a Christmas signifies something, and we must understand it in everything. So when I'm doing decoration, I always want people to understand the colors that I'm yeah. using for them. I believe you have more settings to show us. Exactly. All right, yes. okay, let's. This is a couch. Mm -hmm. That's something that you sit in always. Okay. But just for the uh, for Xmas, 
you just put in red, as I said. Yes. The red and the green. I don't know. I love the red. I so see. So I always do it. So that when you come and sit, in, it's always been here. Mm. But you just put in a touch of the red mm -hmm. for people to know that uh, Xmas we, we are celebrating yeah. the birth of Christ. Yeah. We've had some stuff for kids to make DIY stuff for the mom to prepare in the in the lounge okay. in, yeah, in the living room the lounge yeah. and we also have something for the dad to do outside for the exactly. tree and then this is the at the end of the day you, you, you relax. relax any last words from you well what, what I want to say is that Christmas is for merrymaking mm. we remember Christ and that is what the joy because we remember that uh, God himself came down to redeem us and we must, we should be happy. Mm. So that is why I always say that you must make the home lively so that whoever comes to your home will come and have fun mm. and then go back remembering that Christ died for us. He, he came to earth and then he died for us. Mm. That is all about Christmas. That is all about Christmas. So at the end of the day, when the kids are sleeping and the Christmas lunch is over and some of the family members have left, you can come here and relax, take a breath of fresh air and listen to some chilled music and think about your New Year's resolutions. From the Joy News team, we say Merry Christmas and have a prosperous New Year. Tomorrow is a holiday, you haven't missed anything at all. Uh, get your hands on something, you know, you and your kids, spend some time together and put it all together.